In today's Global Village, it's encouraging to remember that even cars designed for a world market still display many of the characteristics of their country of origin. Take, for instance, the Japanese. Fifty years ago, we used to make these in large numbers and we'd sell them not just in this country, but throughout the remains of the empire. And then the Japanese had a go and they found they were really rather good at it. So they carried on and soon they were making them smaller, cheaper and better still. They didn't stick with radios though, they invented video cameras and all sorts of other electronic gadgetry. And it wasn't long before they got to thinking of other ways that they could employ this newfound knowledge to improving other mundane products. They looked at the car and decided it was a crude device needing loads of electronics. So they gave it electronic management systems, onboard computers, the whole works. When this car was launched in 1987, it was a technological tour de force. This was the first car in the world to have proper four-wheel steering. It's loaded with electronic gadgetry and it was a real leap forwards in terms of automotive technology. Leap forward some more and this is the result, the Honda solar powered car. Forget zero emission cars that use electricity from power stations that still pollute. This car, now already several years old, is completely energy self-sufficient, taking its fuel from the sun. At the hands of its two lightly sautéed crew, the car won the solar challenge across Australia handsomely. <laughs> But until this sort of hardware becomes commercially viable, electro-petrol hybrids such as the Toyota Prius are the next best thing. Now available at a dealership near you, these cars have fiendishly sophisticated electronics which decide whether the petrol engine or the electric motor should propel you to the shops. But at least this handy little screen gives you some clue as to what's going on somewhere under its high-tech bonnet, if you can understand what it's trying to tell you. Looking at Japanese cars, the future is bright. The future is techie.